and I'll set it going and I can see it's going. So very exciting. I'm sitting down for a chat with Mr. Tunch Chiriaki, who is a brilliant plastic surgeon based in Istanbul and in the UK in the Cadogan Clinic. And you're running a whole meeting in regenerative medicine here at the Royal Society of Medicine. And um, what we were going to talk about is um, fat-derived stem cells and how you use them for regenerating, particularly the face, because this is a procedure that you are going to use me as a model for tomorrow, which is very exciting. <laughs> so uh, after Not all that, so, really. um, so could we talk first about um, stem cells that you find in fat and why these are good for regenerating the tissues in the face? Um, yeah, uh, it, we are actually going through a very exciting uh, period in the medical history. Uh, before we were having our own disciplines and everybody was digging their own uh, holes in their own disciplines. Now uh, we are coming back together. And regenerative surgery, regenerative medicine, uh, I think is that platform. And regenerative medicine is using tissues from your own body exactly. to that's, repair. Yeah, that's the whole point. I mean, till now, uh, most of the medical treatments we were using, maybe surgical or uh, non-surgical, uh, we're treating the symptoms. So we were trying to treat the symptoms, etc. Uh, and we were always using uh, outer forces. Now we are learning uh, the body's own power to regenerate and heal itself. Okay. So uh, regenerative medicine, if I want to really simplify it, uh, is about using the body's own power to heal itself or to help the body heal itself. Mm. Of course, that's uh, a much subtle, uh, much more natural mm -hmm. uh, and very powerful way without the least side effects. Okay. And uh, regenerative medicine uh, basically is uh, working with bodies on stem cells. Uh, stem cells, if I need to really like uh, explain, uh, are the cells what you have in your body from the birth. Mm -hmm. uh, and when something happens, like uh, any wound or any damage, uh, these stem cells, they go there, they are there anyway, and then from other people, from other areas, they go there and heal that tissue, may it be liver, eyes, skin, bone. Okay. These uh, stem cells are residing all around the body, but they are concentrated majorly in two areas, uh, the bone marrow mm -hmm. and the fat. Now the Stem cells we get from the bone marrow, bone marrow are the cells which are used usually for uh, blood-related diseases. So naturally. it's leukemia treatment. Leukemia, lymphoma, and, okay. yeah, and yeah. that line. Mm -hmm. Because they are more related to the blood, like okay. red cells and white cells. Uh, whereas the stem cells in the fat, they are tissue stem cells. Oh. Uh, and they are much better used for uh, treating the tissue it can be bone, cartilage, fat, muscle. Uh, so then, of course, we are talking about cardiac diseases, orthopedic diseases, plastic sur surgical diseases, dermatology, general surgery. And okay. we are not only talking about human beings, we are talking about also veterinary, uh, we are talking about war zones. Uh, so basically what we do, we are just going into the body, harvesting some tissue, isolating the person's own stem cells out of that tissue and injecting them, concentrating and injecting them into the problem area. Which could be the knee or wherever, uh, wherever. an orthopedic area, yeah, wherever. It, wherever. So when we then move to cosmetic um, repair and improvement of the face, rather less uh, urgent maybe than some of the veterinary needs or the orthopedic needs. Um, it's, it's an area that really fascinates me because what you're doing with these stem cells is encouraging the areas of the face that have been losing bone or muscle to regrow parts of those tissues that they've lost. Is, is that right? Yeah, in plastic surgery, in my field, uh, you can use these stem cells and people's own uh, tissue for any reconstruction. It can mm -hmm. be a breast reconstruction, yeah. it can be soft tissue defects, it can be radiotherapy yeah. related problems. Okay. 
but when we are talking about spatial aging, it is the major problem. Everybody is aging. For sure. Uh, so we are talking about seven billion people who are having this <laughs> disease, actually. Yeah. Uh, and when we are talking about that, uh, we are basically talking about volume loss. Yeah. Uh, we used to think that facial aging uh, was happening because the skin was getting thin and saggy. Yeah. It is not the case. We are losing the structural support uh, of the face, the bones of the face, like the long bones. Yeah. Uh, they get resorbed and they get smaller. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in a very simplified way, we are having three arches of the face, like the frontal arch, the mid facial arch, and the chin arch which are keeping the skin in the place and yeah. tight and up. Yeah. When they get smaller, uh, as if you lose your weight and then your dress becomes too much. Sure, sure, the skin will... It just has drops to, down. Yeah. So the, the treatment of uh, aging then, of course, has different modalities. You have to treat the volume loss mm -hmm. on bone level. You have to treat the volume loss uh, of the subcutaneous tissue. Yeah. And of course, you have to increase the skin quality, reverse yeah. the skin aging, which necessitates to, uh, increasing the number of regenerative cells in the skin itself. So what we do, uh, we take a bit of person's own fat, which is usually useless, mm -hmm. or actually we don't yeah. want to have it anyway, Yeah. <laughs> uh, from the places where we don't want it. Mm -hmm. uh, this literally takes 10 minutes. And how much fat do you need to take? Depending to treat on the, the area. If you are tra okay. treating a breast uh, reconstruction problem, mm -hmm. you would need lots of fat. But okay. if you are treating the face, I would say I would need around 30 cc's, okay. which is um, not much. Which is not yeah. much okay. uh, for, for the structural support. And I would need maybe around 100, 120 cc's uh, fat for stem cell isolation. Okay. So what I do, I take this fat uh, in, like, in a matter of half an hour, mm -hmm. uh, I can isolate the stem cells out of that fat tissue, concentrate it, and then I can use them together with the patient's own fat, uh, layer by layer, starting from the bone, like uh, compensating the bone loss. Okay, so you're layering them right down onto the bone in the arches. Exactly, so we wow. are injecting the, the fat on the bone to the chin, yeah. on the bone, uh, to the zygomatic arch, to the mid face, the cheek, yeah. and uh, to the eyebrow region. Because we are injecting them deep on the bone, what it does is actually just the opposite what people people would think. Uh, people would think that injecting something would make people's faces bigger and larger and rounder. Yeah. Just the opposite, because, because the sagging is uh, due to the volume loss. When I inject over the bone, uh, I tighten the ligament so the face gets sharpened and up. So wow. actually I can do a secondary lifting also. Amazing. And so you are actually stimulating the growth of more bone? That's a question. Uh, okay. nobody, um, nobody knows that exactly. They okay. are working on it. Uh, I definitely can uh, compensate volume loss on the bone. Okay. Level. Yeah. Uh, probably we are also reversing or s slowing down the bone aging because we are creating a wound uh, which is supposed to be healed by the body, yeah. which is a good thing. Okay. It's like, it's like yes, 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 yeah. chemical peeling of the, of the skin. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are creating a controlled wound on the bone level. And then, and then the bone will Just regenerate e Exactly, or, or the bone So it's not e making your face regrow itself from the inside, not exactly, and yet that's it, sort of what you're doing, isn't it? it? Yeah, it is kind of like comp compensating, compensating the loss and then okay. slowing down the aging process. Okay. Amazing, and you can do that at bone level, at muscle level, and also at the skin level. Exactly. Right, so this is pretty phenomenal. And what's really exciting is I'm, I'm going to get to try this out tomorrow. So, um, in my face, I mean, you're, you, uh, I, there, there's, there's shrinking and aging and loss of volume going on everywhere. So, uh, will you tackle the brow arch, the chin? Yes, let's touch from the, the upper. Like, you have a little bit of like upper eyelids uh, descent. Yes. That's not because you have too much skin here. Mm -hmm. That's because you don't have uh, the structure the support of down. the bone. Okay. So if okay. I can just put some volume back here on the bone, the mm -hmm. eye, eyelid and the eyebrow will be lifted yeah. in, a, in the third dimension. It's not going to be a vertical lift. 
So that's okay. why it's going to be a... Of course, a, coming back out, it's like reinflating a balloon. Yeah, and that, exactly. Yeah. And that okay. is why it will not look like yeah. uh, kind of like sort of dimensional lifting. Wow. The same thing I will do with the mid face and mm -hmm. the lateral side of the zygoma, which is going to uh, compensate this like rounding. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I'm going to lift the ligaments, which is keeping the mid face in the place. So for example, my sagging here is yeah. due to the bone loss. So if I mm -hmm. inject something here, it will be lifted. Okay. Yeah. The same idea with the chin yeah. and the jaw. So I'm going to redefine uh, the, the brow line, yeah. the mid-facial line, and the whole jaw. Amazing. And are you using fat along with the stem cells? Okay, that's a good question where we need to discuss one thing. Today, the problem is everybody who is doing fat injection uh, would claim that they are doing stem cell injection, which is yeah. not exactly correct. Because okay. in order to be able to talk about stem cell injections, you have to do an isolation yes. and then concentration of those stem cells. Getting the stem cells out of the fat and concentrating them. Concentrate yeah. and then uh, re-inject yeah. them back. Okay, and you've described to me before how the stem cells, when they're sitting there in the fat, it's just as if they're asleep, they don't do anything. But once they are pulled triggered. out of the fat and triggered and woken up, then that's when they, 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 they spring into action so that then when you inject them onto the bone or into the muscle, they are then ready to do whatever they need to do. And then they go back to sleep. And then they go back to sleep, okay. But when, and because you've created wounds with the needle, and they the perceive that as, and candy, they perceive that as a signal to? First thing, and the second, uh, because I put some tissue there which do not belong there. Yes. Which does not have enough vascularity. Okay. Uh, that creates hypoxia. Because there aren't the blood vessels running through exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. It's new tissue. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's kind of like an immigration of okay. cells from somewhere to another yeah. place. So until they get vascularized, mm -hmm. uh, these stem cells are woken up by the hypoxia which we create by injecting itself. Okay. Okay. But once they are settled in, yeah. uh, then the hypoxia is over. Yeah. Then again, the both triggers are going to be over, and then they go back to sleep. Wow. Okay. Fantastic. And and so, will I see a result, uh, some result, of, because of the volume that's been injected immediately, or will it take like six months for okay. the? Very good question. Uh, we we can talk about two different types of result. We we're gonna see an immediate result um, in terms of volume compensation and redistribution. Okay. So we're going to see a lifting yeah. of, the, of the skin, and yeah. brows, mid face and the jaw. We're going to see an immediate revolumization, a mm -hmm. controlled revolumization. Yeah. Uh, that will not include a skin quality improvement. The skin quality improvement will come with time. Sure, yeah, because that's going to regenerate. After a month mm. and then up, it continues up to six months. Okay, fab. And I'm asking all these questions today because I, I, we will have film of the procedure tomorrow, but and this is obviously quite an invasive thing to have done, so I will be sedated, won't I? I won't be in a position to be asking you questions as you, you work. Not, you <laughs> I'll <not>. be out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be out for camp, but we'll, I'll put the film in on top of this, and then I'm sure we'll be catching up afterwards to see how it goes over time. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Really looking forward to this. Okay, that's... Okay, I think that was fine. Fantastic.